That boy's a Hoxton hero Skinny fit jeans and dressed in pink How he dresses I can zero As long as he don't spill my drink That girl's an indie Cindy Lego haircut Okay guys, today I have a match of my Bullet Shooter versus a Blade Master. <clears throat> it, I think it shows off a lot of the combos I've learned since I started playing. I still think I have a lot of room to improve, but you know, you'll get there after you play so much. There's a little talk in the beginning. I get caught by two skills instantly. I Fortunately, I didn't instinctively just blow my counter away, but... I force his counter out there with the kick into the rising circle. It's a pretty safe thing to fish out the counters. And then I get a real nice stun combo going. You can turn away with the sky kick, and the first hit stuns, the second one knocks him up. It's not as good as it used to be. It used to stun a lot longer, but <clears throat> in certain situations like that, it can still work and you can prevent the ground counter from going off. A little counter counter going on. Force out my counter. I almost knock off his uh, counter and get caught, but luckily I somehow dodged it. I just threw the limit shot at him, hoping that he would get hit. He would counter one of the early ones, and then it'll somehow he'll roll back or something into the other one. I am having a lot of fun with Bullet Shooter. It, it's still, I think, the most fun class to play. It's so fast and fluid, and does so much damage. It is a complete glass cannon though. Like you either win or lose with like full health. There's there's no in between. You're you're not even gonna get comboed, and you're not really gonna combo other people. He gets here. I just dropped down the thunder ring because I know he's locked in the counter and he doesn't want to go out of it or I'll do some other stun skill. I get hit by the counter. He doesn't really follow it up too well, but he forces out my counter and then he gets a back kick. I don't know why he didn't grab after that. Miss the electric shot, hit him with a kick, get a nice bit of damage. Ooh, got the deep sniper off. I switched to normal bullets right there, I ran out of electric ones, and it actually gave the deep sniper farther range. I don't know if it would have been long enough range to hit that shot. So that was, that's something you might have to think about when playing bullet shooter. There are slight variations on different skills. Usually lightning's better overall, but I think Deep Sniper might be one of the only ones that gets a benefit or a different benefit by being normal boards. Then we got a nice talking. I, do I, I think that's the only time in this match I, I dodged that off the start. See what I mean? There's the, the stun. It's there it was a lot longer. There he kind of he trying to bob and weave me and tries to go serpentine, but. I end up catching him right in the face with a limit shot, and then I knew he definitely didn't have his counter up, so I just went for the full evasive shotgun. And this is a really nice combo that's so satisfying to do, especially with how, how much of a thud it makes when you hit it. That's so, it's so nasty, you just you get the sky kick and then you just go underneath them, and then right before, and you can kind of just be inside them and just rise in circle and get so much damage off. And then a lot of times people will instantly get up and then as they're getting up, just normal shot at them and then grab limit shot and huge damage. There I I was trying to bait out his counter, but I guess it wasn't up in time. So I just uh I just walked away and then he just got up attack, so I just used the basic. There's another There's another combo. You can do the stun and you can do the piercing shotgun, but you can't don't do the kicks. Just do the kick away and then turn around with the piercing shotgun and you can keep it as a stun combo because the stuns are long enough. Blade Master in general is pretty much only about mind games. If you if you can't there's Blade Master either wins or loses based on mind games. Like if you're inside the person's head, you're gonna win. If the person you don't really understand, he's gonna probably beat you. Because you have to be able to put they, or just have absurd reaction time and just always hit those counters at the perfect time. Because if you hit those counters into a tachyon stun combo, you're gonna win. Like, that does, that's gonna one shot a bullet shooter. There's another sky kick in the rising circle. It's so much, it's so satisfying to do. And I, here I was just 
bobbing weaving right outside of his range. Oh no no no! <laughs> I love I love that animation that they put on the detonation on that. It's just like oh no no no! Not today! You are not going to hit me. But but what I was saying about the uh... oh damn I don't remember what I was saying. Oh the bobbing weaving. When you are a range class in C9, you don't or actually in any fighting game or any real life fighting. The highest tiered people are always going to dodge side to side and in a three-dimensional way, whereas lower tier people will always just run backwards. And running backwards is never a good idea. Oh, here, here we have a nice standoff where I'm, I'm like, come on, come on, bail out. And I don't have Thunder Rain up, so I just use the piercing shot and just go right through them. And then just counter after counter. And I didn't have get up there to get out of that, but he drops it. He picks it back up, though pretty nicely and then he just kind of hits away but I still can't get out of range in time for builds I, I wouldn't max the electric shot just because it actually increases the cooldown even though it's slower to do you pretty much get a free reload at the beginning of every round so I don't really see a problem with it being kind of slow it gets a nice shining into tachyon Look at that, he didn't cancel it right, he could have done 75% of my health, but he still got 50%. I was a little slow on that grab. He just, I, I don't know, he's always just, just outside of range. And then I finish him off with a nice electric shot to the face. Well, hope you, hope you liked it, I'll be making more bullet shooter videos, they're pretty fun. And I like explaining them. I'm gonna be making a build guide when I restat after I'm done p doing PvE. But watch the other videos. Thanks for watching. One shoe, two, gonna kick with my new shoes. I'm gonna kick until I need new shoes. I'm gonna skip I'm gonna I said, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop talking to me.